Do you have limited flexibility? If so, you are going to love this lesson because I'm going to give you some very simple moves that just make the swing so much easier on the body, on your mind, and you can actually use it next time you're out on the golf course. They're simple, they're easy to remember, and they are effective. Let's find out what they are. Okay, my friends, so I am Alex Forte. This is the Art of Simple Golf, and yes, I'm wearing a jazzy t-shirt today, or shirt. I hope you like it. Anyway, now you might be thinking, well, how do you have limited flexibility? Well, I actually completely knackered my back many years ago by trying to swing like I was uh, told to swing by some elite coaches, you know, uh, playing on the tour, whatever and it ruined my back it ruined my golf game so whether you're younger or more experienced in life we want a swing that we can use without stress on the body but also a swing that doesn't require tons of practice either okay because i don't have tons of time to practice i barely get to play full 18 holes but when i do i want my swing to not hurt me i want it to be reliable okay and I bet you do too. So, with that in mind, let's get into the tips, okay? If your swing does look very rigid and tough and the results are useless, you're gonna love this. So the key things you're gonna remember, I think that we're gonna cover three of them and I might give a bonus one as well. Are you a bit rigid when you're trying to make golf swings? Does your body feel like it's just not as fast or as fluid as it used to be? If so, let me know below and let me know if you're going to try even just one of these key tips, all right? Number one is all about the feet, okay? What we're going to do is allow our bodies just to turn with a bit more freedom here, all right? Because we don't want to be resisting the lower legs. We don't want to be, you know, lower legs, I mean, just legs really, but we want to allow freedom of movement in the ankles in the hips and we can enhance that i won't go into all the details why but all i want you to do is turn your feet out okay turn your feet out if you're standing here you're going to have restriction okay you see that i'm going to zoom in a little bit here but if i make a swing i can suddenly feel a lot more restriction as i make my swing i don't want that if i turn my foot out even on the the right foot my back swing i have a lot more freedom to turn now, on the through swing, if I turn it back out, again, I have much more freedom to be able to just swing through, okay? It's going to be so easy. So I want you to turn your feet out about 45 degrees, a little bit more with the front foot, because that's going to help you, again, just sort of release with a bit more freedom, okay? Which we're going to go into in the next part. But that's it. Just do a little checkpoint to see where you are, right? And just turn your feet out and allow those hips as you make your backswing to turn. That's the key move that we want here. Those hips are going to turn. We do that, coupled with the next hip, you're gonna be golden, all right? Number two, my second tip for inflexible golfers. Is that a word, inflexible? I don't know, not flexible, whatever, is to start forgetting about trying to make a big rotation and a big golf swing. We want it to be so, easy and the shorter we can make the swing either in you know actually length wise but shorter of a movement that we want to think about because if you're thinking about moving your shoulder all the way around here what happens is the sway happens crap shot happens and we're trying to make such a big rotation we're tight and we've got a long way to go back so let's really make this in just a few inches type of golf swing and the key feel is it, you know, you can either think of it as rib cage, you can think about it as the core, that are the other movements, but there is an alternative that I'm gonna show you. All right, so we're here, we've turned our feet out. I'm gonna make my backswing, not by anything else, aside from thinking about my rib cage just turning a few inches this way, up and behind me. I'm starting the swing with the feet, my hips have turned, I'm throwing the club that way, but I'm completing my swing 
with my rib cage going this way, just a few inches, okay? That's the feel that works for me. And what it does, it gets me into a perfect, efficient, short golf swing that has flow and that can repeat. It, there's no tension there. As you can see, I'm waffling away as I'm making my swing. If I was to resist and try and make a big turn, okay, my voice gets strained and that's a good little sign for us, all right? So if you can natter away like I am and make a golf swing, you're in a pretty good like spot there. So the only feel I want you to have is turning this rib cage up and winding it this way here to feel like the right leg is straightening and the core is just winding up here, okay? If that swing doesn't, or that feel doesn't resonate with you, try this. This is another option. I don't necessarily uh, prefer this, but it does work nonetheless. What you're gonna feel like is your right shoulder is just gonna be lifted up about four inches this way, okay? Because we're maintaining the structure in the arms, but all I'm gonna do is move my shoulder up to here. And just, as long as I've got flow and feel in my hands and the club is heavy, I'm going to complete a backswing. So there's another alternative to make sure you get a fully complete backswing without killing yourself trying to make a huge turn. Core, rib cage, all the shoulders, all right? Try that. That's gonna give you the move that you need to get through the ball, which we're gonna go into next. Okay, the next feel I want you to have. We've got the setup taken care of. We've got the backswing taken care of. What do we do now? Well, there's sort of two parts to it. We're gonna make sure that when we sort of complete our backswing, before we've actually completed it, we're actually going to be making our way back down through the ball. Because what kills senior golfers, uh, as far as swing consistency goes, is just being too slow with the lower body. And that's not necessarily your fault. It's just, you know, time taking its toll, wear and tear taking its toll, or not being quite as healthy as perhaps you'd like to be. So we have to allow some compensations here, all right? So what we're gonna do is feel like as we are making the little transition, we do that transition before we get to the backswing before we get to the backswing, but the only thing I want you to think about is straightening the arms as we get to here, okay? You're going to feel like you are squeezing those arms together and you are straightening them at this point, then releasing through, just to this kind of point. That's it, we don't need a huge big rotation, clearing the hips out the way. We don't want any of this, which you'll see, because you think you've got to push hard. I promise you, this is so much less effort when you just allow flow, okay? And then straighten the arms and then allow the hands to just fold over here and create this little L shape, okay? Instead of holding on to it like this, just allow them to release, okay? But you do that past the ball here, okay? We're committing past it. We're not doing it back here, which kills distances. We are doing it as we swing through and letting them hinge that way, okay? That's it. So we straighten the arms through with flow, with the transition that starts before we quite complete our backswing. Straighten those arms with the soft wrist and we are good to go. Now, a little bonus tip I talked about is if you really are still struggling to kind of get through the ball and you end up sort of shoving it up this way, I want you to feel like you can get yourself out of the way a bit more. And a simple, easy hack I talk about it all the time is just pull that left foot back a few inches, okay? We're keeping the hips square, we're keeping the shoulders square, but now we have a bit more freedom to swing through because we've cleared out the way. We don't have to work so hard to create that uh, space through it for our arms to swing through. It's not cheating, it's just making it a little bit easier, which is not a bad thing. Now, all of these are so uh, important because they are easy to repeat, but we have to allow flow and suppleness in the wrists and the arms to re-hinge and hinge, whatever you want. But we've got a solid grip on the club we're keeping those arms straight, but they are supple and easy to move. And the body is just allowing them to flow. The more you can feel that, the more freedom you're gonna have in your golf swing, the more consistency you're gonna have in your golf swing, the more you're gonna love this game for many, many beautiful years to come. 
So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave them below. And you know, senior golfer, young golfer, whatever, these tips work. Whether you're a bit inflexible, whatever it might be. I promise you, just apply the feet, the core wind up, and the release. You are good to go, my friend, good to go. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.